Ah, Bass University friends, Mark Zona hanging with you here. One of the, now, if, listen Bass University friends, this is gonna be more of a simplistic top water tip for you guys. And it's a question that I actually get a bunch throughout the country. Uh, when do I throw a walking style bait like this Sexy Dog Junior over a popper style bait? And here's the best way to put it. I have all, both of them tied on almost all year long. Um, number one, th th this is always my go-to, okay? Uh, a, a walking style bait, why it's my go-to is I'm able to cover water faster than a popper style bait. Whenever I have a popper style bait, you all know this, you all own them, you have to slow down, right? I kind of use this, this is my search tool, all right? There are days, and you, you guys have experienced this, there are days that they're absolutely getting this or they're absolutely missing it and playing volleyball and batting it all over and you get all pissed off. I, that's good. That tells you where they're at. So this is my search tool. This is my, I'm passing the football down the field and I can cover water with a walking style bait exponentially faster than a popper style bait. My setup for this is actually a, a little bit different though as far as my rod choice, my line, my reel, um, everything. Number one, I use a 40 pound Seaguar Smackdown braid to a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. My friend Justin from Bass University is like, why not just tie braid right to its nose? When I'm covering water and I'm really if I do that straight to braid, that bait will rotate and constantly be catching the hook's gonna catch onto the braid and I'm gonna get all pissed off and throw it down and never throw it again. Justin. The other side of it is, um, it almost acts like a little bit of a shock absorber for when a fish decides to come up and get that bait. Um, a high speed reel all the time on a top water bait, just for the simple fact, that's a Daiwa Fuego reel right there, uh, which I believe means fire. I don't know if it does or not. Um, that reel, all the reels I use for top waters, whether it's a walking style bait, or you want a, you want a high speed reel because you guys know this, a lot of your bites come on the end of your cast, you're able to move line. And I actually, on all of my, my walking style baits, I use a cranking rod. This is just a Tatula Takahiro Mori cranking rod. Number one, that rod lets me get a lot of distance a lot of distance. Um, and the other side is I, I'm naturally a little bit high strung. It lets that fish get it. Uh, one of the tips that I always give for topwater fishing, I never look at my topwater bait, or at least I try not to. I don't want to see the mayhem going on out there, right? I don't want to see the shark hit the seal. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.